Vinyl Community, this is Tommy in North Carolina, and I wanted to do a video where I discuss uh, some recent pickups. Uh, a couple of these things, uh, if you saw my Rolling Record Store video, uh, are in there, but uh, these were all part of the recent pickups. So I'm going to include them in this video, but there's some other stuff in here as well. So there shouldn't be too many repeats, and I'm going to talk a little bit about each one. So we're going to get right to it. Uh, this is one uh, that I picked up at Harvest Records recently uh, in Asheville, and I know a lot of you have heard me talk about Harvest. Uh, this was um, post Record Store Day, uh, and it was a really, really cheap price. This is Buffalo Springfield again. Um, most of you probably know that I'm a big uh, fan of Buffalo Springfield. This is on the Atco label. This is an original stereo pressing. Really nice, clean copy. This, to me, is kind of a weird album uh, for Buffalo Springfield. I mean, I love this band. Uh, Neil Young, uh, Stephen Stills, Richie Fure. Um, great, great American 60s rock band. One of my very favorites. Uh, I love Buffalo Springfield again, the first album. This is one that was uh, released sort of after the band kind of broke up. So it was kind of uh, compiled of of uh, some leftover studio tracks. But um, as far as uh, albums go, it, it's, it's really not bad at all. Uh, it does have I Am a Child, uh, Kind Woman. Uh, so some really, really nice cuts. And for the price, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't pass this one up because... Um, as a fan of Buffalo Springfield, um, I, I just couldn't resist it. So there's that one. Um, now here is a group that I was recently turned on to, and some of you probably have heard of them, the Lemon Twigs. Now the Lemon Twigs are, uh, this is their album, Do Hollywood. Uh, and this album came out uh, a couple of years ago, I think. Uh, I want to say, yeah, 2016. Uh, the Lemon Twigs are two uh, brothers from Long Island, um, and they do this sort of, they play all the instruments and, and do these sort of rich harmonies, uh, very much in the vein of, of, the, of the Beach Boys, the Beatles, uh, very much kind of a throwback kind of sound, uh, but really, really nice. Somebody was telling me about the Lemon Twigs um, on Record Store Day. Uh, while in line, and, uh, you know, I thought, well, worth checking out. I went and looked at uh, some of their videos online, um, just showing you guys the contents of the records, and, and just said, this is right up my alley. And as a matter of fact, I've made the joke um, that if me and my friend Sean in New Orleans, hi, Sean, if we made music, this is probably what it would sound like. Um, so kind of a... Fans of that sort of harmony, uh, Beatles, Beach Boys kind of thing, uh, you might want to check out the Lemon Twigs. This is their EP that came out, uh, I think, in 2017. Yeah, 4AD Records. Uh, this is called uh, Brothers of Destruction. So this is a little uh, four or five song EP that they did um, last year. And it's got five songs on it. Uh, and just more of the same. Uh, so, featuring previously unreleased recordings from the Lemon Twigs home studio. So this is probably one of those things where they recorded it uh, beforehand, uh, before the album, uh, the Do Hollywood album came out. But I'm really digging on what these guys are doing. Uh, I think Tim Allen did a video recently about new music kind of being lame and not... Uh, turning him on anymore, and that this is a, a really cool group, and uh, really, really, really happy to discover uh, that kind of stuff. Again, Beach Boys, uh, sort of late 60s psych pop kind of stuff. Here's one uh, my buddy uh, Beetle Brad uh, will enjoy. Uh, this was another pickup at Harvest. I think I probably got it uh, the same time I got the... Um, I got the uh, the uh, Buffalo Springfield. Um, this is uh, the Beatles Sessions, which is a uh, a bootleg uh, featuring um, some of the outtakes um, from the Beatles. A lot of this stuff was on the anthology on this Odeon label. It's a really really clean copy. And from what I understand, this thing was supposed to be an official release to kind of uh, come along with uh, with rarities that came out in the early '80s. There's the back cover, which is a takeoff on the revolver. 
But uh, it's got stuff like uh, How Do You Do It, the early version of One After 909. That means a lot. Uh, I'm Looking Through You. Um, What's the New Mary Jane, Not Guilty, the Paul McCartney demo of Come and Get It, uh, the, the George Harrison solo, While My Guitar Gently Weeps. So these are things that eventually showed up on the anthologies. But uh, they they uh, they were released on this bootleg in the 80s. And the price was really good. I, I'm really iffy on Beetle bootlegs because I don't know what the quality is going to be. But I, I checked this one out while I was in the store uh, on the listening station. And it, it sounded fine. And for what it is to ha have these on vinyl, considering that I don't have the anthology uh, albums on LP on wax, I thought... Well, why not? Uh, why not go ahead and grab this just to just to have these. Um, plus, it's kind of fun to have a bootleg. Um, I don't really do a lot of bootlegs, um, but you know, being a Beatles fan, why not um, to have to have the uh, have that one? Now, these are some of the ones that you saw me on. The, so I'll go through these kind of quickly. Uh, Lily May, uh, Lily May Rishi, um, third man artist, produced by Jack White. I got a chance to listen to the album. I got the autographed copy from the Rolling Record Store. Uh, really, really nice album. Uh, really good songs. Catchy. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, country uh, type stuff. So, um, cool. Cool stuff to have uh, on the Third Man Records label. And uh, Lily May is a, is a really, really nice artist um, on that. Like I said, I'm going through these kind of quickly, but... Um, because, I, like I said, I showed them on the last video. The Explorers Club, uh, Freedom Wind. Uh, as you can tell, this is a very much a, a throwback kind of cover. Uh, and there's my little card that says I'm a member of the official member of the Explorers Club. The only thing I say about this, if you like the Beach Boys, uh, particularly late 60s Beach Boys, uh, Friends, uh, Smiley Smile, uh, Wild Honey, that era... This is definitely something you should check out. I mean, it's almost um, should be illegal how much these guys sound like that period of the Beach Boys. Um, good stuff. I mean, as a fan of that that music, I can't really complain. But it is scary how much uh, they sound like that. And this was the other one I got um, together by the Explorers Club. This was the the last album, Gold Star Recordings. Uh, got a really good deal on this at Horizon Records down in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Again, this is a, a Friends album. Even the cover is a throwback to that. Um, so, fans of the Beach Boys, uh, you definitely should check out Explorers Club. So, between Explorers Club and Lemon Twigs, that's two sort of new bands that I'm listening to. So, there's that. And you saw this really quickly, the Jack White single for uh, Connected by Love and Respect Con Commander, which was the first single off the new album, Boarding House Reach. Pick that up at Horizon. Uh, and I think the new single, Over and Over and Over, uh, came out today. Uh, and so that's, that's available. But finally, here is the big reveal. And we'll go ahead and open this uh, for this video. Uh, and so we'll take a look at what's inside together. But this was something that came out on uh, Black Friday, uh, Record Store Day last year. And I didn't uh, put it on my list, or I had it on my list, but I didn't get it because it was really kind of expensive. Uh, but Horizon does stuff, uh, a lot of their old Record Store Day stuff is half off. And for the half off price, I just I, I pulled the trigger on it and got it. Uh, this is the complete Chris Bell box set that was put out by uh, Omnivore Records. This is a six LP set um, with all of uh, the Chris Bell material uh, in it. And so it's got, uh, just a quick rundown, Looking Forward, The Roots of Big Star. Uh, so this is early, early stuff. Uh, the Rock City uh, LP, C7 States, which I've got on CD. Really, fans of Big Star should 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 know the Rock City stuff. It's got "I Am the Cosmos," which the only vinyl "I Am the Cosmos" that I have is the um, is the Four Men with Beards uh, pressing. So I'm really really excited to hear this because I'm sure it's a better better quality pressing than that one is. Uh, and then there are two records of outtakes, outtakes and alternates, Volume One and Volume Two. So. Um, you get really three records of, of the Cosmos uh, sessions and, and that stuff, the outtakes and, and 
different stuff. Um, and finally in this set is an interview uh, with Barry Ballard, London 1977, an interview with Chris Bell, which I'm really looking forward to hearing because Chris Bell has kind of become a little bit for me like a Robert Johnson figure. Um, so it's going to be really weird to hear his voice. Now, um, uh, I'm opening this up so we can just take a look inside here uh, of the box. I'm going to be careful because I'm going to hold on to this hype sticker. Um, so bear with me as I sort of slice this thing open um, carefully because uh, I want to hold on to some of the paper. But uh, I think Omnivore has kind of said that they may break this up and release some of this stuff individually, uh, which would be really cool. Um, but they did say the interview disc was going to be exclusive to this set and only available. So that's that. So I got the end open up, so I'm going to pull the records out and we'll... Uh, Take a gander at what's inside here. So bear with me while I carefully place this stuff. So here is Looking Forward, the first uh, record in the set. Just taking a look here. And it does have download cards in it too, which is really cool. So I can get all this stuff digitally. Show the other side here. It's standard black vinyl, so I'm not going to pull the records out. Just because. Here is the uh, Rock City LP, which is really cool. I don't think this has ever been released on vinyl. Um, so this is like the pre-Big Star uh, Chris Bell band. And some of these songs ended up with Big Star, like uh, My Life is Right. Uh, and some of the stuff you may have heard, like in, in some of the Big Star uh, stuff, um, like, like the Preacher and, and stuff like that, but um, you know, definitely uh, a good companion to the uh, to the to the big star Rock City C Seven States. So that's kind of cool. Outtakes alternates volume one. Oh, by the way, I didn't pull the record out of here. We can look at the sleeve. Sorry, guys. Just to take a look. I'm not like I said. I'm not gonna pull the vinyl out. Not yet. Just taking a look. C7 States. If you've ever been to, been to that area um, in Rock City, uh, right there uh, in Chattanooga. It's a, kind of a big tourist destination. Alternates and outtakes. This is all stuff from the... Um, and probably some of this stuff was released... Uh, I know a few years ago, Rhino Handmade did a Chris Bell set. And so, um, I think some of this stuff was in that. But uh, Omnivore has done a... And, of course, the download card is holding this in. I'll set that there for now. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and... I'm trying to keep everything kind of in order here. Come on, guys. There we go. Work with me. Work with me. And here's the volume two of the set. And you can, guys can freeze frame the, the track listing here if you want to see what's inside. Just to, just to show you guys kind of quickly. But um, I forgot what I was saying before I got stuck with that. Um, here is the I'm the Cosmos, which is the, which is the proper album. Which has been out for a while. But I was saying the Rhino Handmade. I think those outtakes were part of the Rhino Handmade set. And so, um, I think the stuff's been out before, but not on vinyl. So, um, and, uh, you say my love, here's the lyrics to you and your sister. Oh, it's in here upside down. Ah, what do you know? Lyrics to you and your sister, which is a beautiful song from Chris Bell. And finally, um, we have the interview disc, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, just to hear Chris Bell talk. Uh, probably not much to the interview, but um, for somebody that's not really ever heard Chris, or Chris, heard, you know, just a little bit of the big star stuff that I've heard, it's just, um, you know, amazing. There's just not a lot out there on Chris Bell, and really an incredible artist. And finally, um, there's a neat booklet. That's a, I've never seen that picture before. That's really cool. So, 
It's interesting. This is going to really uh, bring Chris back for me. Um, some of these pictures I've seen, but uh, just uh, really, really nice. Really nice set. And for half off, I, I, I couldn't... I, I couldn't pass it up because something I really, really wanted. Uh, nice liner notes um, from different people talking about the album. Um, so, yeah. So, some pictures of the box, boxes, tape boxes. So, um... Yeah, I mean, the folks at Omnivore have, have really done right. Uh, a lot of Big Star stuff, and as, as a fan of Big Star, it's like we just keep gobbling it, gobbling it up, and uh, I've got the complete third that they did over Record Store Day, and so that was kind of, it was just for the price, it was just, you know, one of those things. But to get a copy, really, really happy, so um, that that's cool. Um, but that's some recent pickups. Uh, the new McCartneys are on their way to my house. They may be here tomorrow. I thought about waiting to do this video, uh, for those to come in, but I'll hold off. I'm getting, uh, Chaos and Creation in the Backyard and Thrillington. I didn't get Wings Greatest because I've already got a nice copy of that, original copy, so I held off on, on that one. But, uh, really looking forward to the other two because I don't have those on vinyl. Um, so we'll talk about those maybe for a future video. I wanted to show you that one. Uh, so, my birds contest is going on. The previous video, I talk about it. This is for my one-year subscription, uh, giving away a copy of the David Crosby album. So go check that out, that out, as well as the ongoing bird series I'm doing on my other channel, Daily Records, where I do a different record every day. There is a uh, link up there in my uh, box, my, my heading box on, on the top of my channel. It says Daily Records. Click on that. and um, Like, subscribe, comment, and share. All of that good stuff. I uh, love interacting with you guys. Tommy Burton 75 is Instagram and uh, Twitter. Follow me there. I usually show what I'm spinning. Uh, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.